Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about what a reproductive endocrinologist is and exactly how I became a fertility specialist and what that means and learn a little bit more about me, then stick around. Hi, welcome back. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist who's been helping build families for over 15 years. And I'm looking forward to telling you a little bit more about me. Thank you for being here. A reproductive endocrinologist is someone who's been in school for a very, very long time. Um, I did college uh, or undergraduate and majored in biology at Georgetown University in Washington, DC. And then I went on to medical school at Wake Forest University in North Carolina. That was four years where I got to learn about all different types of medicine and decided to focus on obstetrics and gynecology. I did a four-year residency program at the University of California in San Francisco. Um, that was a wonderful experience and then decided that I was very passionate about infertility. I love the technology. I loved helping people build families. And I knew that that meant more training. So it's a three year fellowship in reproductive endocrinology and infertility. Um, so when people say REI, it's not the mountain biking uh, <laughs> or, or mountain store, the outdoor gear store here in Seattle where I practice. Um, it's actually reproductive endocrinology and infertility. And I did that fellowship at Stanford. And so after all of those years of training, um, then I looked for a big girl job and I found an incredible practice here in Seattle. It's Pacific Northwest Fertility. Um, I started here in 2009. It's got a wonderful affiliation with the University of Washington here in town. And so I get to teach and do research and really help people build their families. So it's quite a bit of long education, but a wonderful opportunity. In addition to helping people build families here at Pacific Northwest Fertility, I really enjoy staying a part of academics. Research and teaching are such an important part of medicine and continuing education in the field. I have a clinical associate professor appointment at the University of Washington here in Seattle, and it allows me to stay connected, continue my research, and teach, and I absolutely love it. Other parts of things that I do, I love writing. Writing is such an incredible creative outlet for me, whether it is a social media post, a blog post, um, contributing to the Huffington Post and other um, blogs online, uh, the research trials that I do, the scientific writing that I do, textbook chapters, but also writing books for my patients. My first book was a co-authored book on an integrative approach to fertility care. I think that some of the best can be a combination of both evidence-based Western medicine, which is what I'm truly trained in, but combined with some of the wonderful practices in Eastern medicine. And so I co-authored a book with an acupuncturist, Stephanie Giannarelli, who's a dear friend, um, and that's called Planting the Seeds of Pregnancy, an Integrative Approach to Fertility Care. I don't think that Western and Eastern medicine need to be exclusive. I think when they come together to really help the patient, I think everybody wins. Um, my second book was focused on miscarriage. So it's um, not broken, an approachable guide to miscarriage and recurrent pregnancy loss. I opened the Center for Recurrent Miscarriage here in Seattle over 10 years ago and wanted to have a resource that I give patients. Patients can only absorb so much in that um, hour visit or that half hour visit. And I wanted them to be able to have something at home that they could read. Um, there's so much misinformation on the internet. Um, I, I appreciate that. And I wanted to make sure they had a source that they could trust kind of everything all in one guide. And so that has been really helpful. I've gotten a lot of good feedback on that. And then I've gone on to write some children's books and some other things, but writing has been really, really fulfilling and wonderful for me. Um, I'm very active on social media. I really have enjoyed this part of connecting and educating. I hopped on TikTok, one of the first doctors there on TikTok, and that has just been absolutely fun. Helped me through the first dark months of quarantine and the pandemic just to do a silly fun outlet, but combining that education and it allows me to reach new people and um, educate 
especially without fear. I have learned so much in research um, to helping my patients be healthier and improve their chances of having the family of their dreams with lifestyle changes. And a part of that can be a lot about reducing toxins that we're exposed to endocrine disruptors. And when I learned about that, I really went to a dark place because I just realized that there's so much evidence out there. This is absolutely not something that was covered in my medical training. And I learned about it when I was trying to, you know, buy products for my family and just didn't realize that it's really impacting me too, but I want to educate without fear. So it's important to kind of get a positive message out there, but not through fear and really focused on shattering stigma around fertility and miscarriage, not only for my patients, but I was an infertility patient as well. I struggled to have both of my children in different ways. Um, and was finally successful with IVF. And it was such a different experience to go from being the doctor to being the patient and realizing even just down to giving myself the shots and realizing like, oh my gosh, am I even doing this right? I was supposed to be a doctor. I was supposed to know how to do these things. And it's so confusing. And so it's helped me um, really have a lot of more compassion for patients. There are amazing doctors out there that have not had infertility. Um, I do not think doctors have to go through IVF in order to be an IVF doctor, but I can say for me personally, it really helped me understand and, um, be more empathetic in just a different way. So I am so excited to be here on YouTube. I'm really active on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and my own blog, my own website, my own own writing, but I'm thrilled to now be here on YouTube and be able to create this incredible content, answer your questions, to get medical information out to you in a compassionate way without fear and really fight some of this medical misinformation that's out there. So I'm going to be focusing on infertility, IVF, miscarriage, toxins, emotional wellness, so important to pay attention to this along the journey. And I'm here to help. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about what a reproductive endocrinologist is a little bit more about me, please like comment and subscribe. I would love to hear more about what you want to hear about and stick around for more videos.